Hi, this is Nick of Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take this six scan partial project. We're going to register it here without any targets uh, and walk through some basic, uh, basic things we can do with it. Again, we're going to start here uh, without targets. We're going to jump directly into registration. And once in here, we'll go to the perform automatic registration. We're going to default here to top uh, view and cloud to cloud, uh, which is fine. Uh, everything on here looks as though it'll be just fine as far as default settings, and we'll just register and verify. Now we'll load our scans. And with a project like this, you can't jump to any conclusions until it's fully loaded. That actually looks like it's put together correctly. The more geometry around the scanner, the better that the software does in putting it together with top down and cloud to cloud. Yes, registered correctly, and we'll move on to the Explore page. Load the scans so that actually we can see them. And our complex geometry has come together. quite nicely, does not have any color added to it. As you can see, if we come over to the uh, tree on the left side, we don't have the uh, ability to add our color to each of the scans or to the main scan folder. And if what we want to do is add the color, we're going to have to go into the settings grab the uh, switch user interface button here and quite easily we can go into either one scan or the entire scan folder right click operations and color pictures and uh, that will uh, because we're on the main scans folder that will add color to the entire project at one time as we can see uh, our color has come in Sort of difficult to see in the 3D. Uh, we'll go ahead and just quick view one of our scans here. And we got color. Uh, this is a great example of sometimes why we don't want to add the color. Uh, while over here we've got some pretty serious shadowing. Uh, on the back side of this we've got a completely blown out uh, photograph because of the direct sunlight. So. Uh, if this is something you were looking to do some measuring in, that's a very good idea to do all that sort of measuring before you add color. If you do make a mistake by putting the color in uh, either during the pre-processing stage or registration stage and you get into this situation, make sure you just back into uh, the old user interface uh, as I did. Uh, this is scan number nine. We'll select it. Go back down to Operations, Colors, Pictures, and then Restore Gray Image. Um, this is something that will then take the color back out of the scan. Uh, you can see the different areas that you might need to see uh, that were completely obscured. Now that it's completed, we will close and open that same scan back up again. And we are back to a non-colorized uh, laser point only version of it. Now as you can see we've got quite a lot of detail underneath uh, in the obscured areas that were uh, shadowed uh, and then back over here where we were blown out because there was too much sun in our uh, photograph we've got exceptional detail. 